Firefighters nationwide have begun efforts to sue against manufacturers and providers responsible for exposing them to PFAS, a dangerous substance that's linked to cancer. These PFAS chemicals were found in the coats and firefighting foam used frequently on the job. PFAS, or perfluoroalkyl, polyfluoroalkyl substances are long-lasting chemicals that can be found in low levels within humans and animals. When overexposed, however, PFAS can have deadly effects. Much is still yet to be discovered by researchers regarding the nature of PFAS, but what we do know is these chemicals can be exceedingly dangerous in excess and in the wrong circumstances. PFAS exposure has a history of litigation and exposing companies that have knowingly released products that contain potentially deadly amounts of PFAS. Harvard and U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Research shows that there are more than 4,000 different kinds of PFAS chemicals, and while not all are dangerous, many can cause severe disease such as cancer, liver damage, decreased fertility, and increased risk of asthma and thyroid disease. The biggest reason why they are so dangerous lies in how long they last. Being nicknamed Forever Chemicals, PFASs can take years or even decades to break down in the bloodstream, so being overexposed to them can cause an overload in the body and cause it to shut down. Recently, firefighters nationwide have sued for a new source of PFA exposure, protective gear. Research on PFAS has been inconsistent, and much is still not known about the effects of various forms of it. However, research does consistently show an array of potential injuries stemming from overexposure. Cancer The National Cancer Institute has performed extensive research regarding the risks of cancer after being exposed to PFAS. These investigations have revealed that PFAS can cause kidney, lymphatic, and thyroid cancer. Infertility and sterility Rigorous studies have shown that PFAS exposure can cause both infertility in women and sterility in men. This may be caused by disruptions in the endocrine system, which in turn affects the reproductive system. PFAS exposure can also cause decreases in testosterone levels. Skin exposure similar to ingestion Recent research has found that PFAS exposure through the skin can be equally as harmful as ingestion. Experiments performed on rats by the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health exposed the rats to PFAS through the skin for four days and found reduced antibodies and intense sickness. Liver damage. In addition to the various forms of cancer, PFAS exposure can also cause liver damage. This can take the form of non-alcoholic fatty liver tissue disease in which the buildup of enzymes in the liver can cause it to grow and damage the body. Knowing about the potential repercussions of being exposed to PFAS can help educate you on what to look for. If you've suffered from any of these, you may be eligible to sue. Kidney Cancer As with many forms of cancer, kidney cancer is difficult to detect at first. Early symptoms can include bloody urine, lower back pain on one side, a mass on the side or lower back, fatigue, weight loss, appetite loss, fever, anemia. Lymphatic Cancer Lymphatic cancer, or lymphoma, is cancer of the lymphatic system, which is responsible for immunity and fighting germs. Lymphoma can affect all areas of the system and be potentially fatal if untreated. Thyroid Cancer The thyroid is a regulatory gland that affects heart rate, blood pressure, body temperature, and weight. Early on, thyroid cancer is notoriously difficult to find and no symptoms may show at first. Increased cholesterol. While high cholesterol has no identifiable symptoms, it can have numerous adverse effects and increase your risk of several cardiovascular diseases. In the worst cases, it can lead to heart attack and stroke. If you've been exposed to high levels of PFAS, you need to act fast and carefully. This is a serious issue and addressing it immediately is of utmost importance. Here are some of the first steps you should take if you're in danger. Find a trusted doctor right away and get evaluated. Doing so as soon as possible will mitigate your injuries and ensure that you aren't liable for anything after the exposure. Finally, you should contact a personal injury lawyer right away. Our lawyers at Tor Horman Law will help you through the legal steps. 
Having a proper lawyer to represent you in court is essential to serving justice, and at Tor Horman Law, you can't do better.